making angry voices and being cried crucified. They were glad to watch him suffer. They were happy when he died. They gambled for his garments while he hung on the tree. He don't mean much to this world. much to see what he means to the world. Amen. Amen. I heard him say uh, he'd accept, accepted a, a priest in uh, England somewhere today that was open homosexual. First one they've accepted over there. Amen. He said it was an abomination. It still is today. He ain't changed nothing. Has he? <coughs> We well, need to be saved, and, and it's a privilege to come back down. <coughs> we enjoy singing for the Lord, and we pray that uh, we'll just always stand for Him and never compromise with the devil. Pray for Him. This is for Ann and I got saved, and her grandpa led the singing when we were growing up, and I could see. Just sitting back there, see yeah. Grandpa up here singing, and Grandma would get up. Away. That's what he would. <laughs> Grandma would get up, and she'd shout all over the house. Those little old feet. She's tiny, skinny woman. Those little old feet flying all over the place. <laughs> God saw me and you. About my weakness, and he knew that I was sinking deep in sea. Heard the prayers, he saw the tears of all my loved ones. God reached way.
We went to a nursing home to sing, and there's a little old woman nurse, 95 years old. 
And you know, you go to try to be a blessing to them people, and you only end up getting a blessing every time. Every time. And, uh, every time. But she sung this song here, and I just, I just stood there and cried while she sung it. And, uh, and she gave us the words to it. We can't do it as good as she did, but we'll, we'll try it for you. <laughs> Gentle shepherd, do not leave me. I need your eyes to find my way. Gentle shepherd, do not leave me. I need your face that I
I remember too. You did it. You're an old man. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he remembered. I know that's all man. You did it for all. Getting you in trouble. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? Amen. Trish, you ready? <laughs> Y'all pray for me. Come on.
Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you done good. Did you enjoy that? Amen. Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Anything else before we let this preacher come on? And I thank God for what's going on. Amen. Miracles are happening and people don't even know it. Amen. Oh, man. I didn't know Trish could sing like she can. But I told Lester, I said, I didn't know that, but we do now. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You might as well bring your guitar every Sunday morning. <laughs> got a lot of talent that God's given these young people. And, uh, I believe we ought to use it for the glory of God. Amen. And I thank God for this young lady and what her and her family means to me. Thank God for all these young people who stand sing for the glory of God. Amen. You pray tonight and uh, I'll try to sing just a little. I, my voice, I don't sing much anymore. I've strained about everything I've got, I think. But God knows all about that too. So you just pray. For us, I, I thank God for what's happening in this revival. I thank God for the people that got right with God and dedicate their life to the Lord Jesus Christ and start a new life. Amen. Uh, praise be unto God. Uh, you know, we want the house to be full, but I'm telling you right now, it don't have to be full to have meeting. Amen. Amen. Uh, you'll find out, praise God, over the Word of God, there's very few followed Christ. Amen. It wasn't in the multitudes. I could preach on that tonight, but I'm going to try to do what God has for me to do. Amen. If you'll realize, and I'll just make this statement and leave it with you for we sing. Amen. You read the Word of God, the multitudes and the Word of God was a hindrance, amen. amen. To all those that wanted to get right with God, they stood yeah. in the way, amen. 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 Praise God, I'm telling you right now, it ain't in the multitude, praise God. It's in the faithful few that love the Lord, amen. praise amen. God, amen. that'll see things done. Now, you better pray just a few minutes. I'm going to try to sing before I get started, praise God. But I love the Lord tonight, and, and uh, I was like these boys. I, I've been excited to get back to the house of God. Amazing. I can remember times whenever we'd go and uh, been several times over in Elizabethan and over in that country. It'd be at 3.30 in the morning when we got back home, amen, from meeting, amen, just about every night. I remember one night on the altar, they were at 1.30 in the morning, praise God, these people still getting saved, amen. amen. Hey, come on now. Amen. I can remember, praise God, whenever a young lady walked, for miles. I don't know where she come from, but when she come through the church door, she's out of breath, her face is red as blood. And she said her husband took the keys away from her, wouldn't let her come to the house of God. She said, God promised me if I could lay him on that altar, God would save him. Honey, I want you to know at 1 30 in the morning, that morning, praise God, we was having church. Amen. God is still a saving, praise God. Woo! That's determination, ain't it? Glory to the Lamb of God. That's trusting God. If we get down to business and trust God just a little bit, we can see our people saved. Do you believe that? Come on! I believe that with all my heart. I don't know if I can sing or not. Like I said, I've about strained everything I've got. Uh, want you boys to get me a, a drink of water or something. I, I don't know. I'm about dried up. Hey, man, you just pray tonight. <coughs> You listen to the words of this song, and this song became real dear to my heart. Um, I told this, I tell a story about every time I sing this song, Sister Judy, and it's more real to me tonight than it's ever been in my life. But I used to sit in the back of the church as a young Christian, and I'd hear 
Brother Earl Sexton sing his song and Amen. that old man's eyes would go to shining and he'd look back through the congregation and it looked like he's looking way past this world and I believe he was, Bill. I believe he saw what he was singing about and Amen. Praise God. He'd sing about the troubles of life and the waters that we was wading through was the troubles and the heartaches and Amen. the struggles in life that we was trying to get through to get to the other side. Amen. But praise God, one day after a while, he made it home. Amen. 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 But this old song just keeps it going and going and going. Been going for years in our churches over home. So you pray tonight. I, I, I'm more homesick than I've ever been. Praise God. Amen. I want to go home. I don't know Amen. about the rest of you. I'd like to see the Lord just one more time, brother. Miss World, see Him move one more time. Would you pray? I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I hear voices. Up in glory, I hear voices up in glory. I hear voices up in glory calling me home. I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders. I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders. I'm gonna shake glad hands with the elders when I get home. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table when I get home. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table when I get home. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table. I'm gonna eat at the welcome table when I get home. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory all the way home. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory all the way home. I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory. I'm gonna ride on the clouds of glory all the way home. I'm gonna set out beside of my Jesus. I'm gonna sit. I'm a gonna sit down beside of my Jesus when I get home. I'm a gonna shout all over God's heaven when I get home. I'm a gonna shout all over God's heaven when I get home. I'm a gonna shout all over God's heaven. I'm a gonna shout all over. God's heaven. I'm going to shout off over God's heaven when I get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been wading through deep waters trying to get home. I've been awaiting through deep water. I've been awaiting through deep waters. I've been awaiting through deep waters trying to get home. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to getting home. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I thought about it when we get there and them legs, it's never. 
walked in this world, praise God, when they left this world, they left the wheelchairs behind, amen. amen. And praise God, when they got to the other side, they started walking. Don't That's tell right. me there ain't no excitement over yonder, amen. Right. The blinded eyes that's never right. seen, amen, a flower in this world. When they opened up on the other side of I glory, they beheld the road of Sharon. Hey, glory to God, don't tell me they ain't shouting on the other side, amen. amen. Praise be unto God, if you don't like excitement down here, you probably ain't going to fit in when we get over yonder, can I get an amen? You ain't seen nothing yet. You think it gets loud here. Praise God. You wait, amen. Woo, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You better pray tonight. Bless him, Lord. This scripture's been on my mind all day. And God being my helper, I'm going to try to read just a little bit. Very familiar scripture, but there's something on my mind tonight. And I'm excited to be back in the house of God tonight, amen. And praise God, I've been excited. They've been aggravated. First thing this morning, praise God, I've never been hardly as mad in my life. And I just had to struggle with that till dinner time, amen. I finally just told the boys working with, I said, you do whatever you want to. I'm going to Latch and give me something to eat, praise God, amen. Glory to God. Oh, come on. Sometimes you just have to walk off and leave it amen. and go on for Jesus. Can amen. I get it? Amen. Praise be unto God. Say preachers get mad. Sure we do. Amen. Bless Praise be unto God. The Bible didn't say it was a sin to get angry. He just said to sin angry and sin not. Amen. It's what you do with it. Praise God. Come on. You now conduct yourself. Praise God as a child of God even when you are man. Amen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now you just pray just a minute. I thought about this scripture all evening, brother. Amen. Got started home. Praise God. Worked pretty hard today. Got started home. This scripture started coming to my mind. And the more I thought about it, the more come, thoughts come to my mind. And I want to read it to you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I pray to God tonight that God would open your eyes and let you see just a little something tonight. In the Word of God tonight, in the fifth chapter of the book of John, came to my mind this evening. Very familiar scripture. But I want you to see something. What God's a doing. Amen. Amen. Now listen to me tonight. Praise God, I want you to listen and get you a vision of what goes on in the Word of God. Now I want to tell you something tonight, church. This ain't just a storybook, amen, amen, that people sir. read to little children. Amen. It ain't just a fairy tale. Amen. These men and women live and walk upon this earth. Amen. And they witness amen. everything that I'm about to read to you tonight. Hey, the same God is still on the throne tonight. And He's still able to do it for me and you if we can only believe. Now I want you to Listen to me tonight. Praise be unto God. First verse of the fifth chapter of the book of John. Come to my mind. You pray real hard tonight. God being my helper. I want you to listen close to what the book says. The Bible said, After there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the, in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. Amen. Now I want you to get a picture of this. Amen. Praise be unto God. The Bible said, Amen. That they appeared next to the sheep market. Amen. That there was a pool, and around that pool there was five porches. Amen. Now listen to me. Did you see it in your eyes? Listen to me in the eyes of faith tonight. I want you to see this. Don't you miss it tonight. Praise be unto God. It's just the way He said it. And it was there, brother. Amen. Just like over yonder. Now listen. Praise. Oh my God, you better pray. Woo! Praise God. Just like over there whenever the children of Israel crossed over Jordan. And the Lord told them every man to take them a stone and carry it back into the water, where into the place where they crossed over and to leave it. And the Bible, amen, the men asked him, said, what meaneth these stones? And he said, it's for the children that are coming, amen. He said, when they come, I, that they're going to ask, I, and it'll be a memorial for them, I, that they might know that the hand of God, I, amen, is mighty I, upon this earth, I, that they might know what God's done, I, and they roll the water back and the children of Israel crossed on dry land and the Bible said that these stones they remain until this day amen they still a testimony from somebody that this man Jesus is still alive thank God hallelujah Woo! Woo! it's still here God ain't dead. The power of God 
Christ not dead. Amen. 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 My God, bro. Amen. The Bible said that this market was a pool and five porches. And the Bible said upon now listen. And in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, a blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. You see, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. Are you listening? The Bible said as many as I love, amen, I chasten and rebuke, be zealous and repent, amen. Praise God immediately when God calls your name, get up and do something about it. He's teaching me when you hear my words, harden not your heart, amen. You see, every time God touches you, amen, and you harden your heart just a little harder, the first thing you know, you're calloused over and nothing will touch you. The Bible said in the last days, amen, Man, he'd shear their conscience over uh, with a hot iron. Amen. Uh, do you believe this today? They people in this world uh, that can't feel nothing. Amen. Uh, glory to God. Amen. There's a young man talking to me one day, praise God, and I was talking to him about the Lord, and I said, don't that line bother you? He said, nothing bothers me. I said, I read about you the other night. I said, you're one of them that's got your conscience sheared over, and you can't feel nothing. I said, the Bible said it'd be that way in the last days, amen. But I thank God said that for those, I, I can still feel the drawing fire of God. I, I can still see something in the Word of God. That's true tonight. Praise God. Now the Bible said in a certain season that an angel came down and troubled the water. Don't you realize tonight, child, that you can't do nothing unless God touches you? Amen. The Bible said, No man cometh unto the Son except the Father which sent him draws you. Amen. Without the drawing power of God, I don't care how many altars you go to, if God ain't a drawing you, you can't be saved. Can I get an amen? You see, you've got to move when God calls. Amen. If you don't, honey, there ain't nobody there to answer you when you cry out. Say, preacher, can't I get saved anytime I want to? Absolutely not. Ain't got to be a spirit of God. I, I draw your soul I, to the Lamb. Amen. Praise Amen. God. And when you come to that place, when God moves the water I, in your soul, I, Amen, you have all that heaven's got. I, praise God. If you'll just come and get it, can I get an amen? amen. The Bible said it to move into the water that whoever stepped in first got it. Amen. amen. Honey, you know what that tells me? Praise God, the one that got in first wanted it. I, can I get an amen? amen. The Bible said whosoever will I, come and drink of the water of life I, I freely. Amen. amen. You know why the world ain't saved? They don't want to be saved. Amen. You know why my people ain't the house of God? They don't want to be in the house of God. Can I get an amen? Truth. Amen. Amen. Yeah. These people truly lived upon this earth. This truly happened. Now listen to me. The Bible said, Amen. Now listen. The Bible said, After the moving of the water, whosoever got in first, whatsoever disease he had, Amen, he was made whole. You see, it don't make no difference to God what's the matter with you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. It don't matter what you've been into or what you've done in your life. God's seen it all. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen. The Bible said, oh my God, I'm about to fly. Amen. The Bible said whatsoever disease they had, they made whole, brother. But I mean, praise God, amen. Honey, they nothing impossible with God. Amen. They ask me all the time, is it too hard that you can touch them people down the road? I said, is anything too hard for God? Hey, praise God. Let me tell you something tonight. Honey, there ain't nothing in this world that's impossible with God. Can I get an amen? God's able to reach down to the mighty pits of hell and pick them up. Hey, praise God. And set your feet on the solid rock and stand. 
complained off about every disease a man had. Leprosy couldn't even stay when God spoke. Amen. Amen. Oh my God. <laughs> they tell me that you can't quit drugs, you can't quit all this stuff. Praise God, cold turkey will kill you. If they ain't met this man because he is. I'm here to tell you, praise God. Amen. The Bible said whatsoever disease they had, they made whole. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. When they got in the water, sister, where the water was stirred up by the angel of the Lord. Hey, come on. Praise God. Amen. When they come out, they is clean. Amen. Amen. They didn't have an infirmity anymore. Can I get an amen? Praise me unto God. Now listen to me. I'm about to fly, brother. You better pray just a minute. Praise God. And the Bible said, Amen. Now listen. You see, it don't matter to God. Everybody looks at people like it's impossible, sister. My old buddies I used to drink with said this. <laughs> said they noticed something hadn't happened to me, I was going to die. One of them said, I'm, I said, it's the best thing ever happened to me is when I found the Lord. I said, I beg your pardon. God's never been lost. Amen. Amen. The best thing ever happened to Dave Lyles is when the Lord Jesus Christ came hunting. Amen. Amen. The Bible said He came to seek and to save that which was lost. Amen. He's still looking, sister. Amen. Ain't you glad? Hey, ain't you glad He didn't overlook you? Amen. Can I get it? Amen. Hey, I got, my God, I've got to get to this. I've got something for you, praise Amen. God. Billy Joe, ain't you glad that He didn't give up? Amen. Amen. Ain't you glad that He sent it one more time? He stirred the water one more time in that old cemetery on top of the mountain. Amen. Hey, glory to God. I, woo! Yeah, look out. Heavens are coming. Amen. Amen. I want you to get a hold of this. Bless you, the Bible said, Amen. Now listen. He said, And a certain man was there which had an infirmity for 38 years. Let me tell you something about this man. He had an infirmity for 38 years. And the Bible said he was laying on these porches with everybody else. You know what that man saw in 38 years, sister? Praise God, he saw all them that laid there with him for a man for hey, all these years. And he saw them one by one, Brother Bill, get up and get in the water. And when he saw them get in the water, they came out a new creature, amen. And praise God, they didn't go back and lay down with him. Amen, they went on with God. Amen, I've got to prove it to you tonight. Amen. For 38 years, Sister Brenda, he saw the glory of God. And he wondered about it many times. Eight people in our family, Sister, have seen the glory of God time and time again. One by one, how God touched mankind. And they come out a new creature. People are wondering tonight, brother, how in this world can God change a man's life? Amen. I'm like that old boy in the Word of God. I don't know how he done it. All I know, I was blind. But now I see. There's one thing he learned in 38 years. It's when God moved, he wasn't playing games. Amen. That when God moved, he came for business. Amen. Amen. Hey, 
When meeting breaks loose, it ain't just another meeting. Oh my God, last night you better pray. <laughs> God touched this young man in a, in, a, in, a, in a funeral, in a cemetery, did he not? Is that not the first time I ever met you, amen? amen? Praise God that you knew who I was and I knew who you was. You saw the power of God move, didn't you? Amen. Felt the Spirit of God move, amen. 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 amen, you know what he felt? He felt the wings of the angels, amen, amen. stirring the water. Amen. Hey, come on, say preacher. Amen, I, it's make-believe. No, it's not. Honey, hey, hey, let me tell you something. There was an angel come down. And amen, every season, he come down and stir the water. You see, God ain't done yet. Amen, I promise God said, hey, listen, Brother Paul, I asked God what he's done with me, and there wasn't nobody else I could win to God. He'd take me home. I, I got news for you tonight. I, I'm still here. I, hey, glory to God. I, woo! This may be my last night. Thank you, Praise God, I'm still here right now. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to preach to you something that's great. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, everybody thanks. Praise God that people give up on people. Praise God, they thank that God's done give up on them too. Amen. Hey man, did you know this old boy laid there for 38 years, hey amen, in his infirmities and couldn't get in the water because he didn't have nobody to help him? And I'll get to that in a minute, hey amen. But praise really? God, help won't come from man. Can you get, amen. listen to me, amen. help won't come from man. If you don't get help from God, you'll never make it this way. Can I get an amen? amen? It won't be important to you if man does it. Can I get an amen? Now listen amen. to me. It's just like I tell people all the time I can't save you, but I can direct you to the man who can. Can I get a woo? Glory to God. Woo! I preached a message a while. Hey, several years ago, and I know a man that came. There's no more I prayed for for a long time. Got out of prison. I went to see him. Amen. They think I'm a little on the crazy side anyway. <laughs> Amen. That old boy, he, he just talked to me and I witnessed to him said, and I tell him about Jesus. Amen. They shout off. Amen. Pray me or the God one of them come to trade horses with me. Amen. Didn't even know who I was. I, I said, you don't even remember me. I, I said, don't you remember the quick Christian wagon train? I, I said, I was old day while I was late drunk. He said, you ain't that man. I, I said, I'm not now. I, that old man died down yonder. I, had an old bitch and all I, I said, I'm the new man. I, hey, glory to God. I, that old man is dead. I, can I get him? Woo, look out. I'm about to fly. That old boy, praise God, every once in a while, he'd run and hide. But you can't hide from God. God would put me in places yeah. he couldn't get away. Uh, he told me he come to me brother Dennis one morning he said can I go to church with you I said I'll come and get you he said my parole officer told me that if I didn't get in church somewhere and start listening to the word of God they're going to put me back in jail I said I'll come and get you hey, amen you know on Sunday morning he'd hide hey, amen you know what happened I prayed hard, amen. I said, Lord, if he don't get in church, you put him back in the pen, amen. Praise God, you know what happened? I, they locked him back up, amen. I say, preacher, you don't mean it's better ever been. You better believe it, but I'm gonna, hey, I'm serious about it. I'd rather see you go to prison I, than to die without God. I, hey, man, some of our best Sunday school teachers I, got saved in the penitentiary. I, God saved them, made a child of God out of them. Now they're teaching Sunday school amen. and playing a chapel church. Amen. And some of the greatest men I know, amen. 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 I'm about to fly. I got to get through this. I'm going to finish. Ladies and you hang on. I'll be back to this. This is really can't hit. It wasn't long right now, that old boy got out of prison. I'd run up down the road looking for him. I know you'd be back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you ought to see it over home sometime. I'll water the roads out sometime. <laughs> Just driving around, see who I can see. <laughs> Say, Christian, you're crazy. Hey, man, I love the Lord, and I want him to know me. I was coming down the road one evening, and there he was over the matter. 
had them a half a gallon of white liquor sitting there and he's all shoeing horses. Hey man, I just locked her down, slid up to the gate, and jumped out. Hey man, they started hollering, Preacher! <laughs> Sir, are you still a preaching and a yelling like you used to? I said, I have a time I get a change. Hey man. The reason they went to hollering, Brother Jerry, one of them is a hot liquor while the other is a hollering at the preacher. Can I get an amen? I waited right on down. Praise God, stood there with a prayer. I nearly got sobered up and went and tell them about the Lord one more time. Amen. Praise the other God. Say, preacher, you're crazy. Let me get on with it in a minute. Amen. I got something to tell you. Hallelujah. Praise God. How God works. I'll tell you what I've seen and what I've learned. Amen. And it'll be a win. I wish Brother Keith Rourke was here. I built a little barn over there at the house we've had meeting in. Amen. You remember praying in that yard in that hey in that hallway of that barn? Hey man, God's real in that barn, ain't he? Now let me tell you something. Everybody in Ice County said old Dave Wilde was starting his own denomination. <laughs> Building him a church. Little did they know they might have told the truth. They did better meetings in that church in that old barn, they man, and a whole lot of bad. Church has ever seen. Can I get an amen now? Come on. Praise God. Let's get in his saints. Hey, God. Let's get in it and have church. How about it? Come on. Praise God. Ain't enough in this saint for everybody. Praise God. I've been afraid for this old boy. I've been waiting for two weeks for him to come. I know he was a company. Hey, how'd you know? God said he was. Amen. Sometimes I'll be down there in the barn riding Colts way up in the morning. Waiting on somebody to come by and talk to you. Every once in a while I run them out the road just <laughs> see what's happening. <laughs> you don't tell me the truth. Bless him, Lord. That night we was in the barn, me and Brother Keith Rock, we were sitting there having a meeting talking about the Lord, and I almost heard some brakes this week, and I knew who it was. Before they ever got out of the car. Praise God, I run and slid the doors open, and there he stood. I said, I've been waiting on you, son. What are you doing out here so late? He said, I've been to AA meetings. And he said, Preacher, I ain't an alcoholic. He said, I'm a drug addict. He said, I don't need no help for drinking. He said, I do drugs. He said, I don't, I don't need no help with that. But he said, I'd like to get off them drugs. I said, Would you really? Yeah, he said, I would. Well, I said, Praise God. <laughs> Just so happy. I know a man. Amen. I met a man several years ago. I said I couldn't get no help in Alcoholics Anonymous. But I said that man got me off of alcohol, turned my life around, and I ain't been the same since. And I said me and this man have become best friends. Can I get an amen? He said, who is it, amen? I just kept a talking. I like to hook them and hold them just a minute. Say, preacher, you crazy. Amen. He's setting the hook, amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Good. So I just went on talking about a horse I had in the barn. In a few minutes, now right here's where people's at. Now I'm going to show you this, then I'm going to get on with the message, bro. A few minutes, he just stopped me. He said, Wait a minute, preacher. He said, Praise God, you didn't tell me who this man is. Well, I said, if you ain't serious, I ain't no use to be even telling you what he named me. Because I said, this man does not play. And I said, you've got to really want off of it before he'll even take time to help you, amen. Amen. So I went back to talking about them horses. So he stopped me, Bill, and he said, wait a minute. Tell me who he is. Who's your friend that you know that can help me on these drugs? I said, I'm going to tell you, you're ready. I said, he's my best friend. He's my Lord and my Savior. Yeah. And his name is Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo! And you know what that boy said? He said, I got to go. I said, that's exactly what I thought. You don't want to off of it as bad as you think you do. Yeah. Because I'm here to tell you, you can look at my life and know that God don't play games. Yeah. And he don't have He 
He told Joseph, he said, now. <laughs> he said, Mary, you chosen. He said that the seed that she carries, she conceived of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 That's what the angel said. He said she's going to buy her son. And his name is going to be called Jesus. Amen. And he is going to save his people from their sins. Amen. He didn't say he would save them in their sin. He said he would save them from amen. their sin. Can I get an amen? Does anybody know what I'm preaching? Amen. Can I get a come on now? Amen. Get in this thing, church. Amen. Amen. Now listen, I gotta get back to this. People act like God's going to run them down, shove salvation down your throat to you, God, you know the thing coming. Amen. You don't want it, God's going to go right past you and get to somebody that does. Amen. You know what? Lord, you know what God showed me? When He first showed me, sister, that I was going to have to go to the lightning train and preach. Now, you wouldn't believe what, I, what trouble I've got in going out there now. Preachers that ridiculed me, church members I've been in church with for years won't speak to me. And that's okay. Like I said last night, part of my congregation come right out of that wagon trying to save the last time of the grace of God amazing to me. But praise God, the first time I ever went, Bill, I got down and prayed. God told me I was going to have to go. He can give me an old white horse to ride. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He's so fast they couldn't nobody get away from him. Amen. Now, I'm telling you, when the Holy Ghost moved, you ought to see him go now. Amen. He'd scare you sometimes. When I, when I, listen. Got out there the first time, brother, and I tried my best to run every one of them down. I believe. I believe. I meant Jesus. When I went into that camp that night, they were standing around drinking liquor, and I walked right into the camp. They hid liquor and beer, and I stayed up with them all night long. <laughs> they finally quit standing around talking sober as a joke, and they went to bed. That's the soberest white and I've ever been on. Amen. Praise God, when they went to bed, we went to having church. Amen. Stayed up till daylight, a shouting and a praising God. They told them boys, that's the craziest bunch I've ever been around. Amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't have to be drunk to have a good time. Amen. If you live it for God, amen, the Bible said amen. People lead you to believe, amen, that you're just sad all the time. This is what the Word of God said. It's joy, unspeakable, and full of glory, amen. Hey, praise God. Woo! I tried to run them down. like to run myself to death trying to catch them. Couldn't get a hold of nobody. So I come back home and cry like a baby and I pray to God and say, God, I failed you. God said, no. You're running people down. He said, I didn't tell you to go run them down. And this is what He said. He said, you go down and sit on the well. Amen. <laughs> Get back to the water. You know. He said, you go sit on the well. And He said, just wait there. And he said, I'll send them as thirst to you. Amen. 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 I'll never forget. One evening I was in the barn. My wife run down to the barn and she said, there's a woman coming to talk to you. I said, who is it? She said, I don't know who it is. I said, my God, don't send strange women to talk to me. Amen. I said, at least ask who they are. Now listen, but my God, look out. She said, it don't matter. She's on her way. Amen. I said, you're here in the barn. Few minutes, praise God, she pulled in. I've known her ever since she's the size of that baby. Preached so many a time at the wagon train when she'd run and hide behind the trailers. Amen. But she said that evening, I, I began to tell her about sitting on the well I, and waiting for them and thirsty to come. I, she said, my God, preacher. I, she said, it's me. I, she said, I told my sister this morning, I, I've got to find that man I, and talk to him. Amen. I, hey, man, you know where she's at? I, she's saved, I, baptized, and married to the Sunday school teacher. I, hey, glory to the Lamb of God. Honey, don't tell me God can't touch. Amen. <laughs> It's a roundabout way, but I'm going to get back to what I was going to preach. 
I like to take the long way around. I can see more, yeah. sister. <laughs> I first started preaching, Brother Mitchell, maybe 10 minutes, praise God. I'd sit down, it ain't like that no more. <laughs> I got a lot to say. Now listen to me. This old boy's been there 38 years. I've been a drunk for a long time. Everybody in my community, praise God. Amen. Thought there wasn't no hope for me. I had a 69 Chevelle Super Sport, and you asked my wife, she's sitting right back here. When I'd come up a little horse creek, they'd pull over and let me go. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of fellow I was. I wish Brother Dean Black was here tonight. Brother Worth, praise God, he'd tell you. I come one piece scaring that boy to death. Didn't even know it. When he got out of the car, he couldn't even speak. Amen. He was so scared. I didn't know it, sister. That's just the way I drove. Amen. That 69 Chevelle is the one I drove through my dad's living room and parked on my mama's coffee table. Honey, don't tell me what it's like. I know, praise God. Now listen to me tonight. I'm going to preach. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's hope for this ungodly world. Amen. His name is Jesus. Amen. I'm going to give somebody some hope tonight. Praise God. I'm going to tell you all. Oh, my God. I feel so good, Brian. I can't hardly stand it. Hey! I don't care how long you've been there. I don't care what you've been in. I know a God that can take care of it all. Amen. Hey, Amen. praise God. Now listen. Woo! Can't hardly stand it. Listen, God. You see, God knows your situation in life. Amen. Amen. You see, Jesus Christ knows this fellow. They somebody been watching you. I said, ain't nobody sees me, preacher. I'm going to prove to you, praise God, that there's somebody watching you. In the darkness of the light, night, in the daytime, in the noonday, early in the twilights, praise God, there's an eye watching you. God knows exactly where you've been, what you said, what you've done. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, brother, you better look at that one. I, I know this was for a reason, but it's coming out tonight. I'm going to tell it, and then I'm going to want to prove it. Saturday, the church is cutting wood for needy people. You can drink. God told me to go to the truck and get my safety glasses. Honest, He did. And I did. I thought we're almost done. Now that's what he said. Get your safety glasses. I got a piece of sawdust in my eye. Hey Amen. Praise God. Scratch my eye. And if you didn't notice it Sunday night, praise God. God is already healing that thing up. Amen. Amen. But Sunday morning, I couldn't open my eye and it hurt so bad I couldn't do nothing but cry. Amen. Amen. Come on. You sir, sister. You don't tell me the truth. There's consequences when you don't listen to God. Amen. Can I get an amen? Hey, listen. When God's a speaking to you, it's because He don't want no harm to come to you. Can I get an amen? Woo! Bless you, Lord. I've been going down the road and God tell me to turn up this road and go around the other way. Yeah. Hey man, you know what? I'm just crazy enough. Praise God, I'll turn. You know why? Because I'm afraid of what's coming around the curve. Amen. Can I get an amen? You amen. see, I've had so much experiences with God that I know that God does not lie. Man does, but God does not lie. Amen. amen. Can I get an amen? Come on. Amen. I've got to preach. So you pray. I'll try not to keep you all night. I want you to listen real close. And the Bible said, amen, that certain man had been in an infirmity for 30 and 8 years. And when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now there a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? You see, Jesus saw him and he knew he'd been there for a long time. How many times have you watched God work around you? How many times have you seen God answer other people's prayers? How many times? And you wanted to reach out and touch God so bad. Amen. But you couldn't get nobody to help you. 
There's a young lady coming to my house a while back, praise God. Drove her car with no driver's license, no type, no insurance, no nothing. And she said, preacher, there's been people promised me they'd stop and get me and bring me to church on Sunday morning. And she said, they must have forgot me. Said they'd never come by on Sunday morning. But she said, I had to come talk to you. I said, let's talk. <laughs> and I began to tell her about a man called Jesus. Amen. You see, if there's any hope for you in this life, for your family, for any pain that you need, it'll come through the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. For He is all in all. Amen. He is my rock and my salvation. Amen. 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 Over there in the wilderness, praise God. Amen. Listen to me. The Bible said there was a rock in the wilderness. And the Bible said that God told Moses to smite the rock and forthwith it come water. And the Bible said He smote it, amen, and water come gushing out. Now there's a lot of preachers will preach that that water was just a little branch, amen. But I want you to know if you read about how many was in the congregation of Israel, women, children, and men, cattle and asses and sheep and goats, you'll realize that when that rock opened up, it was a mighty river, amen. amen. And they all drunk. Faith enough in this life for everybody. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Over in the Word of God, the Bible said that rock is Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, Amen. He told him, sitting now don't smite it again just to speak to it. That's when Moses got in trouble, wasn't he? Amen. You see, Jesus Christ died once and once only for all. For all sins. You can't hang him on the cross again and kill him. Because when he comes back, he ain't coming back to die again. Amen. He ain't coming back as a baby. He ain't coming back as a king. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. So all you got to do is speak to him. Amen. And the Bible said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. 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 The Bible said if you'll confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen? Look out there. I got proof. <laughs> let, me, let me tell you something else I've seen and I'm going to get to this. It's going to be good. <laughs> you see, all Jesus asked you was a question. Will thou be made whole? All He's asking you in the Spirit of God's asking you tonight, what do you need and what do you want? And if you want it, you come on. We went to Pennsylvania several times, amen, and preached your Bible, and I was so homesick, I just about died every time. My girls were just little. I remember when Brother Dennis went with us, and he cried for three days too, amen. <laughs> he couldn't even take him in Walmart. They thought he went crazy. He'd see, them. He'd see the material that his babies had, amen, for pajamas, amen. He'd go off a deep end, go to cry, and we'd have to drag him out of Walmart. Amen. I'm telling the truth, ain't my brother? It's funny now, but it wasn't funny then, was it? Hey, amen. Seen a lot of people saved, didn't we, brother? Seen God move in a mighty way, didn't we? Hey, amen. But now you listen to me. God knows what He's doing. Amen. God knows what He's doing, people. Yeah. Yeah. But many a mile for the Lord Jesus Christ. Not one mile did God ever waste my time. Amen. We went to Pennsylvania as a church right across from Old Deacon's house, and He gave him the land. So me and some of the brother preachers was going to go and have a meeting with him when he's going back to church that night. They locked the doors on us when they let us in. That preacher didn't want no other preacher in his <coughs> So I just shrugged it off, amen, and went on back to the house and we went back to church that night. I'll never forget it. There's a young man sitting about three third of the way back in the, on the left hand side and his hair was as bright as orange, amen. I'll never forget the color of his hair. And he had three teenage daughters, amen, just stepped over on the side, out to the side, and his wife was with him. Amen. That law at night, like, amen. I was preaching out of the book of Romans. How that, praise God, if you believe in your heart 
Hey man, listen, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen? And I went to preaching how quick it was to get saved if you just believe God. I saw one of those young ladies step out the aisle and start toward Jesus and her daddy reached out and got her to the shoulder and pulled her back in the bench. Amen? I just kept on preaching that much harder. Amen? Because I know God was about to move. Amen? Because Jesus Christ has come down the aisle Oh, brother, and the angel had stirred the water uh, uh, one more time, uh, and they was one uh, uh, trying to get in the pool. Amen. Hey, glory to God. He got a good brother. Uh, that young and clear across the bench. Hey. Oh, we're about to hey. run out in the aisle and make a dive for Jesus. Hey. hey, praise God. If you want it, you won't let nobody I'll keep you out of heaven if you want it. Amen. 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 My God, and I'm telling you something I say. Amen. So we got down with the pray. My God, heaven fail. That young get jumped up saved by the grace of God, her whole compass. She didn't even look like the same young. But she got up, amen. Her daddy is down there praying with her. My God, that turned loose the door for the other two. Amen. amen. They made a dive around the church and down on the other side. Amen. Praise God. That young and fell down went to pray with her sisters. Amen. Praise God. They three out of that family got saved that night, Brother Bill. Amen. You know who that man was? He was a deacon in that church and they shut the door on us. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come to find out the preacher had had them youngins on an altar for five years and had them confused trying to suit himself. Can I get an amen? amen. They've been a trying for five years to meet Jesus when it only took amen was believing the Word of God. Can I get an amen? amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb amen. of God. Amen. <laughs> See, don't tell me I don't know because I know, bro. And I'm going to preach just a little. I'm going to try my best to hug. It's getting so good I don't know if I can stay <laughs> Right when we think everything's hopeless, here comes Jesus. Amen. Right on time. Amen. 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 Now I'm going to preach to the church just a minute. Over there in the, in the Word of God, amen, the Bible spoke about a man called Lazarus and he died. Had a sister, Mary and Martha, amen. And the Bible said Jesus came to Martha and amen. Praise God, she told him, she said, I believe. He will raise again in the resurrection the last day. Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection. Amen. Amen began to tell her. Martha said, I believe till they come down to the really, down to the true moment of truth. Ain't that the way a lot of us are? Amen. We'll believe, amen, God's going to touch them till we see them coming. Amen. Bless the Lord. I was in a revival meeting one night preaching the gospel, amen. These two old boys we've been praying for for a long time. I didn't even know the one to see his face while I was praying. Come find out his brother Keith Rourke's son. I saw him jump and run and get out of the church and leave. Everybody's like, oh Lord, preacher, pray for them boys. I said, I don't have to have done that. <laughs> hey, I didn't worry about them. You know why? Because God touched them enough to where they couldn't sit still. Amen. Honey, I won't worry about them in drugs. I worry about them in sitting in the house of God Sunday after Sunday and don't feel nothing. Amen. Can I get an amen? Praise be unto God. Now that's good, preacher. I don't care who's doing it. If God's touched them enough to make them run, thank God they'll never get away from it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Bible said, "Here come Jesus." That old boy had been there thirty eight years. Amen. I believe everybody got right with God and got healed. Praise God and walked off and left him away in there. Praise God, Bill. I believe some of them didn't even think. Praise God, he could get in the water. Tonight, you may not be able to get down to the water. The Savior's come to you. Amen. 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 You see, He's been looking for you. He knows exactly what's not right in your life. Right. You know what the Bible said? The Bible said it pleased God to give you the kingdom. That's right. 
It pleases God to bless His children. Amen. It pleases God, amen, to touch your life. God wants you to have the best of them. Amen. I've got to preach. I know a man. And the Bible said the impotent man answered, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me in, to, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. And the Bible said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Rise and take up thy bed and walk. Amen. God don't care about your excuses. Amen. He don't care why you ain't been in church. Uh-uh. Bless him, Lord. He don't even care, praise God, that you've not even been talking to him lately. Bless him, Lord. What he cares tonight is what you're going to do tonight. Amen. Amen. What he cares about right now, sister, is how people's going to leave this church. Amen. Amen. You see, today is the first day of the rest of your life. Amen. I know a God that gives new beginnings. I know a God that gives start overs. Amen. Can I get an amen? amen? I know a God that can turn lives around and take the broken pieces and put them back together. Amen. And got a place for you in His kingdom. Can I get an amen? I like to preach about the misfits. Amen. <laughs> Them that's been broken and thrown aside, man, ain't got no use for them. They're not good enough. They don't wear fancy clothes enough. They don't look like they ought to. They don't make enough money to come to our church. Do you know these churches, amen, in West Jefferson, amen, it looks at your tax returns before you can get in to be a member? Amen. Amen. If you don't make a certain amount, you can't go to that church. I know churches that you've got to try out to be a singer in that church. Mercy of. I believe all you young is passed. You see, I'm telling you stuff I know. But you know what God's got? He's got a place for everyone that's been broken in my sin. Amen. Every one of those people that don't look like everybody else. Thank you, Lord. Woo! God's got a place in His kingdom amen. that you can work. Can I get an amen? amen? Hey! Glory to the Lamb of amen. God. i got to preach a little. You see, you can tell God why you've not made things right if you want to tonight. But you see, God don't care because He's right here in the presence of us. Amen. Come sit right down with us. Everybody in this church has felt the presence of God in the Amen. Amen. He's come right here. He don't care why. He don't care about your excuses. All He cares about is what you're going to do right now. Amen. I'm going to preach about it. Amen. The Bible said, the man said, Lord, I have no man to put me in the pool when they start troubling in the water. Jesus said, rise and take up your bed and walk. If you won't right with God, do something about it now. Amen. 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 The excuses are over. He come to the place, praise God, I had to sink or swim. You ever learned to swim in hillbilly way? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I learned to swim, sis. Me and the Roten boys grew up together. We'd find us the deepest hole in the river where we grew up, amen. We just looked over. And we'd take turns of throwing one another in. <laughs> and then we'd laugh when they about drank. <laughs> Always good buddies, love. <laughs> but we learned how to swim. I've got a sister, amen, wanted to learn how to swim. She wouldn't get in the deep. She wanted to get in the ankle deep water, and you'll never learn that way. Now listen to me. There's a reason I'm telling you. And I'd hold her around the waist. And I'd tell her, I'd say, trust me. I'm not going to drop you. You trust me. And I'll teach you how to swim. She never would get deep enough to swim. She never did trust the man that was a holding her 
amen, enough to get out deep enough to swim. You'll never learn how to swim in this thing unless you trust the man that's got a hold of you tonight. Can I give an amen? Honey, if you don't trust him enough to get up and walk on for Jesus, hey, you'll never wait out on a little deeper. My sister still can't swim, brother. Hey, 40 some years old, almost 50, had turned 50 this year, matter of fact. And still don't know how to swim. <laughs> Amen. This man would have never walked if he hadn't believed the words of the Lord. Amen. And you see, I know what his answer is. Amen. I had a preacher tell me, he said, you don't know what he said. I said, sure I do. Amen. Amen. I know what this man's answer was. Amen. I know what your answer was. Amen. At the Rick Dolph Baptist Church. Praise God. Yeah, you know how that look ain't sitting on people. Huh? Hey, look out, man. There's evidence in this thing. I don't care what you believe. Yeah, now listen. Hey, I'll preach. I'm going to try to hook. They say you don't know the answer, Eric. They said this man didn't speak. He didn't have to. Actions speak louder than words. Amen. 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 People tell me that so and so gets saved and this and that, and I said, Well, time will tell. Amen. They say, What do you mean by that? Well, I said, If they truly got saved, praise God, their life will change. Can I get an amen? amen. Come on! Amen. Yep. That's good preaching. Amen. And the Bible said, Amen. And Jesus said, From the hymn, Rise, take up thy bed and walk. Now, you all know what his answer was? Amen. The Bible said immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the Sabbath day, hey, it was on the Sabbath day, and they got out. Hey, some of the religious crowd got on to him for carrying his bed on the Sabbath day. Amen. Honey, I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of people. I'll tell you, you didn't do it right. Amen. How are you supposed to do it? Just like this man. You believe God. Get up and walk to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 There's always somebody that's religious will try to knock you down. Amen. Yeah. 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 Do like I tell them. Just tell them get out of your face. Leave me alone. Amen. If you're here to bring me down, you don't need to be in my life. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? Come on, don't hang around with them people who drag you down. Find you somebody that loves the Lord. Great God, make friends with them. I promise you they'll be friendly. Amen. amen. The Bible said for a man to have friends, he must first show himself to be friendly. And they is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. Can I get an amen? Come on, church. I got to read this and I'm going to try to hush. Read. The Bible said, amen. Now listen. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day, and it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. And he answered them, He, he that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. Amen. Then asked they him, Who what man it was which, had, which said unto, him, unto thee, Take up thy bed and walk. And he that was healed wished not who it was. For Jesus was conveyed himself, had conveyed Himself away and a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus findeth Him in the temple and saith unto Him, Behold, Thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest worse come upon thee. Amen. Amen. Listen to me. That's right. When Jesus came back by, I want you to get, get a hold of this. I want you to get a hold of this. This will take care of all that messed up bunch, amen. Help him all. This man had been there for 38 years, and when Jesus came back by, you know where he was at? Amen. He wasn't laying on the porch. 
Matter of fact, I don't read the Word of God towards him where he went back and laid back down. <laughs> Can I get a thing? You talk about a testimony, sister. But all them people that got in before him come down the street, amen. And I believe some of them might have been in the temple. You talk about a meeting, brother. That old boy didn't seen there year after year after year and time after time after time walked in, amen, and praised the Lamb of God. Amen. Honey, I want you to know there's a stirring in the house. Amen. And Jesus came by and talked to him again in the house of God. I don't know about you, but the man that made me whole has come by tonight just to say hello. Hey, glory to the Lamb of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Them that love the Lord love the things of the Lord. They can't fool me. I know what the book says. But you know what? I ain't giving up hope. Amen. Sometimes I can walk in the place, Trish, and I've been praying for people for a long time, and they'll see me come and they'll squirm like a worm on my life. You know what? I like to see them squirm. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes, friend, I'll just sit at the restaurant and stare at them. My wife said, don't do that, but I, I sort of like doing that. <laughs> Amen. Because sometimes they'll get nervous to get up and leave, leave their food and clean and everything. Amen. You think I'm really good. You know what that tells me? That God is still a Amen. Amen. If you can sit there and a preacher brings up to the bread for you and stare at you, and you can just go ahead and shoot your food and eat, praise God, they ain't going to use me word tonight. Amen. Amen. Praise God, but I'm going to tell you right now, when God goes to move in Lester Jones, praise God, you sing it. Amen. Amen. They can't stand the same of presence that somebody's got the fire of God about it. Amen. 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 Did you think highly of yourself, preacher? No, no, but I know what God is. Amen. Amen. And I know who I am. <laughs> People say, you think you've got the power of God in your life. Brother, you better know you've got the power of God in your life. Amen. 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 Huh? Amen. I know I've got the power of God in my life. Brother. You know why? Because the Lord moved into my heart, praise God. That's right. Amen. Huh? I've overcome them because greater than he that is within me than he that's in the world. Read the book, Amen. praise Amen. God. Word. i got somebody with me. Lord, I love you, church. My God, can't you see it? The Lord don't care what their excuses are. All He cares about tonight, praise God, is get up, believe God, and go on for Jesus. Amen. Amen. God can fix everything else. Amen. Say, preacher, you, you promised me. I promise you, by the authority of God's Word, God can fix your life. Amen. There's no more to come to my house. I'm going to tell you this. Now. I, like, I like to tell people what God's done for me. Amen. There's no more to come to my house. He got on meth. He got on it so bad that he was living with this girl. and He went in one evening and he liked to beat her to death. They locked him up. They took all of his guns. They took, he'd spent every dime he had. Didn't even have a place to stay. He'd come to sleep in my barn. When he cried, she'd come to sleep for days and my wife would fix him something to eat and I'd carry it to him and I'd keep him warm in my barn and I'd just, I'd just take care of him. Amen? Didn't have nothing but the clothes on his back. Kept praying for him. One evening he'd come and sit down in my living room. Nobody's home but me and him. And he started to cry. He said, Preacher, I said, why in this world? I said, if a man come into your life and broke into your house and he beat your woman about half to death, took all your guns, all your rights and life, sold all your money, what would you do to that man? He said, I'd kill him. I said, but you'd let this drug do the same thing. Well, he started to cry. And he said, preacher, I'd give anything in life I could get my whole life back. Well, I said, I hate to tell you something, but I can't promise you your life back. But I said, I can tell you to introduce you to a man mm. that can give you a new life. Amen. 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 Hey! Let me tell you what happened. That boy fell down in my living room. Amen. And he I introduced him to this same man 
that walked down the road and got this man off the porch for 48 years. Amen. Made a new creature out of him. Amen. He took that old drug addict to my living room. He made a daddy out of him. He made a husband out of him. Praise God. Let me tell you something. He gave him a new life. Amen. Honey, God ain't dead. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you what I told him. I can't promise you your old life. But I can promise you you'll trust the Lord Jesus Christ with all your heart. Love Him with your, all your heart, soul, and mind. Praise God. Tonight He'll give you a new life. Amen. And the new life He gives you will be far better than Amen. anything. Amen. I've walked both sides, brother. And I like this side a whole lot better than Amen. 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 I love you, brother Dennis. I love everybody here tonight. I thank God for you. I've been blessed. Been with people, praise God, sitting here just thinking about Brother Bill. How many years I've known him, how many places we've been. We just talking, this brother's talking about going in these snowstorms out and preaching in these revivals. Amen, Lord. God, it didn't, it didn't praise us because it put the snow. We had a ball, didn't we? Never had them in this trouble, but I can remember we had church everywhere we went. Amen. I remember the first time we ever went to the prison. You remember that? And I was like, how about these people mean to me? <laughs> you think he's mean now? <laughs> he thought they going to strip search me, amen. Had me scared to death. <laughs> you remember that? He made as a dog to me, amen. I scared to death. I went all of them. I actually left where the hands were sweat. We walked into that place. The guard left to say, man, the prisoners went to pouring in the room, me and my wife, and all of us there, and the singers, amen. And praise God, all them men come crowding in. I thought, oh my God, amen. If a rock breaks loose, what am I going to do, amen? And them old boys got up with the singing about how they love Jesus. The prayer God fell, and I know right then, I was in the right place. Amen. Amen. Glory to the Lamb of God. So many of them get saved. Amen. 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 I love you. I wouldn't. Buck, Brother Buck sings. Amen. Don't regret a mile. You travel for the Lord. Amen. I regret a lot of things in my life, brother. But I've never regretted one mile. That's right. That I'll travel for the Lord. Amen. 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 I can tell you right, man. I don't recommend much in this world. And people ask me. I, I get people call me all the time, want me to recommend somebody. And I, it's what I tell them. <laughs> uh, I always tell them they're pretty good people from the preacher. But I said, you know as good as I do. Hey, Amen. Sometimes that's just a show. I said everybody's pretty good people from the preacher. I said, you might want to check them out just a little deeper than what I can tell you. Because I said, I see them in church on Sunday morning, and everybody acts pretty good in church, amen. Amen. As far as I know, that's the way it is. You see, I don't know you when you get home. Huh? I'm going to hush. I love you tonight. Sure to God, you got something out of this. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get you a song, we're gonna make an altar call. You see, you may be to the place in your life, praise God, that hey man, you struggle with something in your life for years. And every time you start to get it out of your life, something gets in your way. Hey Amen. But you see, tonight, you may be looking for somebody else to help you, but the only help is Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And if you ain't noticed it tonight, and I don't believe there's one person that's sitting in this church that don't know that he's passed by. Amen. 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 Even the blind man. That's right. When Jesus passed by, I know that there was something going on. The Bible said, Amen, when he started to cry out, the disciples said, Hold thy peace. Jesus from the night just passed us by. Yeah. And he cried that much more. <laughs> <than that. laughs> and the Bible said, praise God, he stopped right where he was. Amen. <clears throat> now look out. 
He didn't give him a pair of reading glasses. <laughs> he didn't give him a pair of contacts. <laughs> Bible said he was made whole. Amen. Amen. Huh? This old body wires out. Yeah. I get to where I can't hear every once in a while. Can I tell this? <laughs> You'll find out I got a lot to say. This brought it to my mind. And then I'm on hush. You'll understand why I'm here. I tell people all the time, brother, God does not send me to places and nobody there. Amen. I struggled with a hearing problem for over a year and a half. I went plumb deaf in this year. Couldn't hear a thing. The pressure in my head felt like it was going to die. Couldn't control it. For a year. I went to every doctor you can think of. And I began to think, why in this world is, am, I, am I suffering? Lord? And I kept thinking, it's for the glory of God. It's for the glory of God. So I got to thinking that there's somebody lost in these doctor's offices. Hmm. And I thought, God, you sent me here. Amen. So I started walking up to the receptions and asking them if they're saved. I asked the nurses if they're saved. Asked the doctors if they were saved and they know the Lord Jesus. Woo, praise God. You talk about me. For over a year and a half, sister, I struggled with this stuff. And the very day, on the third floor of Ice Memorial Hospital, I found the one to pray with. Amen. And when I found her, God healed my ear. My hearing came back. Amen. Praise God better than my good ear. Amen, brother. But this little sister rolled into the waiting room. My God, that day is something. You ought to have been there. Everybody walked by would back up and take a second look. And they'd say, who are you? I'd say, I'm Dave Lyles. They say, you're a preacher, ain't you? We go to talking about God. They found all over the... Everybody walked in the waiting room. All it was, here come a little sister rolling in the wheelchair. Hey, man, couldn't roll it, so she had a one in remote control. Here come her husband in behind her in another one. She sat across the waiting room. My God, how God works. Hey, man, I've been looking for her for a year and a half. Hey, man, glory to God. Hey. She looked across the waiting room and she said, You're a preacher, ain't you? I said, Yes, ma'am, I'm David Lyles. She said, Have you got time to talk to me? I said, Where are we going to go? I said, Let's go out in the hall. Me and her went out in the hall and she broke down with the telling me stuff, praise God. Me and her had church. <laughs> For one time in the doctor's office, I didn't have to wait on the doctor. The nurse called my name. I just stopped and said, you're going to have to wait on me, amen. Because I ain't done here. Me and that little sister had church in that hallway and people are going around the same night. They thought this preacher went crazy. Honey, let me tell you something. I wasn't crazy. I'd search for a year and a half for that youngin. And praise God, I wasn't about to get no hurt. So we went on in. Got done praying. Went on in the doctor's office and he said, I can't explain. He said, your hearing has come back almost 100%. And he said, I can't understand. So it's been a pretty good while and I had to go back the other month. Amen. I'm a nut anyway. <laughs> I kept telling them. Got a lot of people praying for me, dog. <laughs> Amen. God's touched my heart, touched my ear. That's what he said. They had me on steroids for almost a month, brother. And I've gained enough weight, can't hardly carry it, praise God. And he asked me, he said, You've been eating good? And I said, Too good. And you owe me, praise God, for an exercise program. You started a life. I said, Because I need to lose this weight. But I said, Let me tell you about a meal we had. Amen. And I went to tell him about eating two big old hogs over to Hayes. I went to tell him about a man called Jesus come down to the barn and save your baby. Amen. Amen. I went to tell him about heaven a rolling. And I couldn't waste one minute. That doctor went off a deep end. He said, Praise God, you've encouraged me, son. He said, Keep doing what you're doing. I said, I'll be back. I got more stories to tell. And I get an amen. Praise God. Hey, 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> My brain went numb, no, praise God. <laughs> every situation in life, every place you end up, there'll be somebody there that needs you. Amen. 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 It ain't about you. Amen. It's about who you're fixing to meet. Amen. My God, say, preacher, you're crazy. I don't know what happened, but praise God, they can't explain it to me, and I can't explain it to them, but all I know is, praise God, when I found her, my ear got better. Amen. 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 Can I get an amen? amen. Huh? So therefore, I said that to say this. I come to Helton Valley Church looking for somebody. Amen? Amen. I come looking, and I come for you. <coughs> say, preacher, you've lost your mind. I've come for you. Feels good, don't it, sister? Amen. Amen. I'm going to hush. You go ahead and sing, young I'm going to try my best to be quiet. You go ahead. Tonight, if you need to pray. I used to be a babe. If you need to pray tonight, why not? I had no feel. How much longer are you going to wait? You've seen God bless everybody. You've seen Him touch everybody around. Say, look, preacher, you don't understand. I'm in a situation I can't do nothing about. You may not care. That man was in a situation that nobody could help him. Hey man, that he couldn't help himself. But thanks be to God, help come down the road. And help was a looking for him. Deliverance came. Can't you feel it? Honey, somebody needs to pray. Come on. Won't you just break loose? Come on. Right now. He's come looking for you. Come on. You can't tell me God ain't touched you. I felt the power of God go out. Woo! Hey! Come on. Come on, say, preacher, I'm working on Give it to somebody who can fix it. Come on. Give it to somebody can fix it. Can I get up everybody? Oh. Anybody else need to pray? Ah, right, prayer warrior. Praise God, I'm calling the prayer warrior. If you know how to pray, pray with this young lady. Praise God tonight if you believe God. Praise God, help her, amen. You, Lord Jesus. Can't you feel it? There it goes again. You ever notice when the power warriors move, they take a breeze but gets to blow. My God, can't you feel it tonight? Thank you, Lord. Receive it and kept the word of God out of a glad heart, amen. It's joy, amen. 
to serve the Lord tonight. Praise God, oh, Apostle Paul said, I preach myself to be happy, amen. I can answer for myself, amen. Glory to God, I know what I've got. Amen. amen. My God, I'll teach you another song. We don't fellowship. I think, I, I tell you what, I, I, I think we'll just turn loose and have to say amen. amen. <laughs> If you've been holding back, I'm going to go to let loose. Amen. 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 Amen.